everybody, welcome back to Kratom Kingdom. I'm your host, Chris Irving from Knoxville, Tennessee. Today I want to talk to you about Kratom for pain relief, which is the number one reason I take it. And I think it should be the number one reason anybody takes it. Because it it really does eliminate pain. It eliminates pain because of the alkaloids that are in Kratom, in the leaves itself, actually bind to the opiate receptors in your brain tricking it into thinking that you've got opiates which are pain relievers and the pain just melts away i suffer massive migraines like i used to have them every single day and since i started drinking kratom i've not had one single migraine it's pro preempted the hot migraines and stopped them from even starting um and also learning a new trick if I limit myself to two cups of kratom a day, the pain relief is gone, and I'm more stimulated. But if I drink, more, the more I drink, the more um, tired I get, or sleepy I get. So, um, I've been cutting back my kratom consumption considerably to save money, and also because I like, I would rather have the stimulating effect like coffee. And usually I'll have a cup of kratom and a cup of coffee, but I just ran out of coffee, which is sad. I ordered more online, so it should be here soon, I hope. But for pain relief, I really don't think there's anything better. That's not a controlled substance, and it binds to the same receptors that oxycodone, hydrocodone bind to in your brain and eliminate pain, numb it. Today was a perfect example. I should have a headache today because I ate a piece of chocolate yesterday and I'm allergic to chocolate. Chocolate gives me migraines. But I knew I would have kratom so I ate the chocolate anyway. And today I'm, I've got all the other symptoms of the migraine, just no pain. You know, I've got the crossed eyes and the nauseous and Kratom doesn't help much with nausea. Unfortunately, it kind of does the opposite. It can make you nauseous. And, um... I, I am so impressed with how much pain relief it does. Because I have chronic pain from fibromyalgia and also... From my stroke, pulling all my muscles and tendons. You can see how tight these muscles are. And they're all pulling to the left. And it hurts. I mean, it's like a constant flexion of muscle all the time. That doesn't work very good for me. So, for pain relief, you can't beat it. You just take two cups of kratom or five, five to ten grams of kratom and you're pain free. Um, and remember, if you take, the more kratom you take, the more sedated you're going to get. The less kratom you take, the more stimulated you're going to get. And it's an amazing analgesic. So, and also the strains matter. Like a red strain works really well with pain. I'm not sure why. The color of a vein of a leaf helps, helps with pain. And a red also makes me feel more mellow and creative. Because with a red strain, you, um, you're not getting all the crazies. Like, greens stimulate you and make you a little more hyper. Maybe you raise your heart rate a little bit. Um, but red really helps my anxiety and pain control mainly. Green and white also are good pain relievers. But you're going to have the stimulation come at the same time. So if you're an anxious person, you might want to steer away from green and white. I take medicine for my anxiety. And when I take the medicine for my anxiety and drink green and white, it like nice levels me out. It makes me feel like a normal person. I'm not afraid to walk in front of people. I'm not afraid to be seen in public. I'm not afraid to drive. So that's where I'm going to leave it at today, y'all. I hope you have an amazing day. And peace out.